And on this day in 1973, NASA launched Pioneer 11 with the goal of exploring two major planets in our solar system. One well, America's Cameron Kramer shows the images the probe was able to send back to us, and he tells us where it is right now. Pioneer 10 is the space probe that completed the first mission to Jupiter. One year after Pioneer 10's launch, NASA was ready for a follow-up with the 9.5-foot, 570-pound satellite Pioneer 11, which launched on this day in 1973. Over a year later, in late 1974, the probe passed by the largest planet in the solar system. Just 27,000 miles above Jupiter, three times closer than Pioneer 10, the probe snapped detailed images of the Great Red Spot, as well as the first recorded images of Jupiter's polar regions. It was already an achievement, but NASA wasn't done. Using the gravitational pull of Jupiter as a sort of slingshot, the space organization altered the course of the probe to head to a different planet, Saturn. Nearly five years after passing by Jupiter, Pioneer 11 became the first probe to encounter Saturn. At the same time, Voyager 1 and 2 were also heading to Saturn, so NASA used Pioneer 11 as a pioneer. It would travel along the same route the other probes were supposed to, as a sort of canary in the coal mine to determine if the path was safe. The route was safe, but it nearly was not, as Pioneer 11 came within 2,500 miles of colliding with one of Saturn's moons. In 1995, NASA confirmed that Pioneer 11's transmitter likely only had a year remaining on its lifespan. Today, Pioneer is silent as it travels about 25,000 miles per hour towards the constellation Sagittarius. The probe is the third most distant object built by humans. But if someone or something ever finds Pioneer 11, the probe that launched on this day in 1973, it has a plaque that details where the object came from. Cameron Kramer, One America News.